It's a pretty big job. Marine towing contractor Kevin Miller wants to do that job on the 45-foot sailboat that somehow got from Key West to Melbourne Beach, two or three hundred miles, all by itself. It's become a source of fascination. It just looks abandoned and like the pirates just jumped ship and took off. <laughs> But because the boat could be a danger to children or sightseers, the county's looking for $24,000 to get rid of it. At a high water, we can get a big, uh, big boat, tugboat, to pull it back out to sea, and then we can tow it um, inland. Following that, a spot would have to be found for the boat at a local marina. And that's not only expensive, it's hard to find given their condition. And so the county could declare the ghost ship a nuisance and have it hauled to a dump. But the owner who's in jail on attempted murder and child pornography charges could object. Miller says it'd be good to decide soon before the next storm. It's possible that the vessel can break up on, on the beach and be stretched you know, for miles up and down the beach, all, all these pieces and parts. The hurricane left about 25 other boats wrecked along Brevard County waterways. Dan Billow, West 2 News.